Hi, my name is Tammy and I'm here with my daughter, Emily, and today we are going to talk about the Natural Sciences CLEP test. Now, CLEPing is college level exam program. Basically, you can study a topic using your own curriculum. You can take a test and then if you score a certain um, score, like a 50 or higher, um, there are many colleges that will give you college credit um, towards a, a class. And so Emily had previously taken biology CLEP um, the biology CLEP test like one year ago, and she didn't needed one more um, science CLEP to cover all her science general eds at our local college. And so in doing the research, she could either take natural sciences CLEP or chemistry CLEP. And in doing some research, we found that the natural sciences has the best passer rating for, it's, it's it has a higher, higher passer, <clears throat> passer rating than chemistry. Yeah, it has a higher pass rating than chemistry. Basically meaning that you're more likely to pass the natural sciences if you take that than you would be to pass the chemistry, which makes sense. So after we discovered that, um, science is not really Emily's first love, so she thought she would go with the natural sciences. So we're gonna talk a little bit about natural sciences, um, her thoughts, what we did, and um, get some lowdown. So can you first tell us about the natural sciences test and how many questions and how long do you have to take it? So the Natural Sciences CLEP test has 120 questions and you have to answer all those 120 questions in 90 minutes. So um, 90 minutes, 120 questions, which is the same um, for biology too. Not that that okay. matters, but it's 120 questions, 90 minutes. And we um, talked about it early on that if when you, during your test, you were gonna aim to have 40 questions done every 30 minutes um, so that you could get all 120 done within that 90 minutes. And so. I don't roughly, I, I roughly know if I'm on time, I don't, I don't do exactly that formula, but I just, okay. I just roughly know. And I'm how on. many credits was the natural science <clears throat> CLEP test worth? This, um, the natural sciences CLEP test is worth six um, credits. So that's actually really good for yep. a CLEP test. Normally they're worth three credits, yep. um, but this one's worth six. Yep. And this specifically counted towards a science lab uh, credit at our local university. Yeah. So you could definitely check into um, what credits you need for general education and for labs, uh, science labs. It's highly worth it because now you're done with science. She doesn't have to take any more science when she actually starts real college classes. So um, the, the study material that I use, I use, um, so to begin with, I did uh, dive which was in uh, integrated chemistry and physics. Um, so I did, I believe they had like 29 videos for that. Um, so that's something we bought and I did. And I also read the Apologia textbook. Um, it's called Physical Science textbook. I didn't read the last like two or three chapters because um, it was stuff I already knew and it was very basic. And so I didn't read the last two or three chapters, but I did all of Dive and then I did um, this physical sciences textbook. Um, and then I went on to do... Wait, can I say one thing? <clears throat> so with the dive, we'll leave a, a link to it down in the description box, but it's basically an online course that you can buy a, with a bunch of videos. And you said about 20 different videos. And you can download the curriculum guide. The curriculum guide then tells you what chapters of this Apologia book to read then um, mm -hmm. to learn natural sciences. Um, this is what she did. Now we'll tell you in a little bit, maybe tips that she would do differently um, as far as curriculum she may do differently, like for our, our next kids that would have to take the test and things. Okay, so you did the dive and then what else did you do? Sorry. So I did, um, so I did dive in the Apologia or physical sciences. Then I went on to do, I believe it was modern states next and um, completed all of that, so I did all the videos. I did not do any of the readings, so I just only did the videos, um, and I took the test at the end of each one. So we were able to get the voucher for that, so that means that they will cover the expense of the club test, which is about a close to $100. And so, if you don't know what she means by Modern States, I'll put a link to that in the description box below too. But Modern States Online has um, college courses that are kind of like um, condensed, crammed courses that you can study. And then when you complete their course, they will give you a voucher to actually pay for you to take the CLEP test and even reimburse your testing fee. So um, look them up. I want to do a video about them very soon on my channel. So you can also find some information on my channel too about them. But then next you did what? So the next thing I did, I actually took, after my states, I took the um, a practice test and I didn't do very well in it. So I decided to do the CLEP Natural Sciences book. So this is by REA. -E 
and it's the Natural Sciences book for it. Um, and I would recommend this book. Um, yeah, I would say that this is a good book. So after all of that, um, I started taking practice tests and I was thinking I would do well in them. Um, but I was kind of taking a test. I was taking the Pearson's practice test, which normally we feel like are very is very accurate for how the actual test will be. Um, but this time I was really struggling. I was getting like 38 to 40 percent on the test on the practice on test. the Peterson's practice test. Yeah, on the Peterson's test, yep. practice test, and it was really frustrating me. So I decided to do um, a little more studying. So I ended up doing the Study.com um, Natural Sciences Club curriculum. Um, and I felt like that was helpful because I just needed like a refresher on all of the basics. Um, so then maybe we should go into now what I recommend. Sure. So, um, and just to clarify, study.com, again, is another resource online that you can pay like a monthly subscription. So we bought one month. Um, and just to equip Emily that she could gain some more knowledge and watch some more videos, um, just to feel the confidence she needed to pass the test. So that's all she did. Now, if we were to go back and she would say, okay, this is what I would do differently. What would you tell your viewers to actually, that was most pertinent and most pertaining to the actual test that you took? So I personally would say that unless you, um, I had never done chemistry before or a physics course. I had just done biology, environmental science. Um, yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. So I personally wanted to do like um, a dive, the dive in a grave, physics and chemistry, and then I wanted to do the Apologia book because I thought that that would be a good start. Looking back, I probably wouldn't recommend that even if you have never done chemistry or physics, or if I would recommend it, it would be very, very short time period. This whole test took me, in the end, of very close to five months to prepare for, and I think that was kind of extreme. Looking back, I'm a little disappointed that it took me that long. Um, I worked very diligently. I worked about four days a week, six hour days, um, every single day. So every single day, six hours, four days a week. Um, and so, yeah, I would say that it was probably not necessary to do apology or um, integrated chemistry and physics by dive. Um, I did love the CLEP book. I felt, felt like that was very helpful. I did this. I would recommend the CLEP REA book. Um, it also had two practice tests at the end, and those I would really recommend you take. So, And on those two practice tests, do you remember what you got? Um, when I did them um, the, like a couple days you before were getting, I took the test, yeah. I was getting, I got 64 on my first one and like 58 on my next one. So I was getting very close to 60s, which is what we feel like if I am, if, us kids are getting close to 60s, then yep. we feel like we can confidently take the test and normally we pass with, like we've pretty much always passed if we've gotten, yep. been getting 60s. And one other little thing we did, which I've mentioned on my channel before too as a resource, is there's um, a Facebook group called Homeschooling for College Credit. And I can leave a link down in the description box. But it's kind of a form type uh, Thing, that if you have a question or you're wondering about a test, um, you can go on there and ask a question or you can research and find other people who have asked that question and what they've studied. So we went on there looking for information about natural sciences. And one of the ladies said she did the REA um, study guide and, and the practice test and she was scoring a 60 or above and took the test, the real CLEP test and scored, um, I can't remember, it was actually it was like, higher it was than what she, yeah. And so when Emily was getting around the 60s, we were confident that or getting confident that she could take the real test then and pass. Yeah. So here's why I would recommend in a nutshell: if you're doing the mar if you're doing natural sciences, I would get um, I would do the modern states because I feel like it's just good. I am a bit of a visual learner, and um, so I really enjoy modern states. I would do the REA CLEP Natural Sciences book, and then if you felt like you're really struggling, I would do Stay.com. But if you feel like you're pretty confident, no need for Stay.com. Um, and if you're doing well in the practice test, I wouldn't get study.com. And then the other thing that we did buy is we bought the $10 um, examination guide from CLEP themselves. So from um, the College Board CLEP, um, they made an exam guide. And basically, it was just 100 questions, 100 practice questions. And I felt like that just gave me the little boost of confidence I needed to take the test. So I would recommend that. But um, again, if you're getting in the 60s with um, the REA practice test, um, probably not. Need, you don't probably need to worry about taking uh, getting the 
uh, exam study guide or study.com. Okay, one last question then. When you were actually taking the test, how did you feel? Because I, I didn't realize this, but I asked my oldest son how he felt when he was taking the chemistry test. And he said, Mom, I felt like I was going to fail. He said, at one point, I just started looking at the questions to figure out what to study for the next time I took the test. So did you feel like that you were going to fail? Or no. how did you feel? Like, like you kind of knew the questions or you at least heard the information? or just what Yeah, you think? I felt pretty confident as I was taking the test. Okay. Um, one of the areas that normally Pearsons.com is very, Pearsons test prep, their practice tests are very accurate. But this time, the, on the Peterson's practice test, there was a ton of questions about anatomy of like specific animals. And then there was also a ton of questions about um, anatomy, physiology, kind of specific physics and chemistry questions as well. And so when I was getting like 30 or 40% on that test, it was really concerning to me because um, I was like, okay, if this is how the actual test is, it's going to be impossible to pass. Um, but I didn't feel like that was how the actual CLEP test was. It was pretty, pretty straightforward. I did, um, I felt like it was a lot of biology and more environmental science, astronomy stuff, um, and very limited physics and chemistry, um, to the point where if you, if you don't feel super confident in physics and chemistry, like I don't, I don't feel super confident in those two areas, um, you can still probably pass the test. Again, make sure you're getting good scores in your practice test. But yeah, I would say, so I was feeling confident as I was going through the test. And I ended with like 20 minutes left. I did review and then I um, finished the test with like two minutes left. Um, when you were done, you kind of gave me a breakdown of, you felt like it was maybe a certain percentage of this and a certain percentage of that. Do you still remember what you were thinking? Um, I would just say it was a large majority of probably 40% biology-related questions, okay. roughly. I don't love game percentages just because I don't want them to be... This is just from what I remember. Right. Um, but I would say there's probably mostly biology, environmental science, and astronomy. Okay. And then 10% or less of physics and chemistry. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Um, one thing I did want to mention is that I do have arch expanders oh. on, so I am struggling to talk a little bit, so hopefully you guys can understand me in this video. So she's about to get her orthodontics all done, her braces yeah. on, and maybe the next video you'll have your braces on when you take the okay. test. <laughs> um, so that's it. Um, that's all we know about natural sciences. We found it hard to find a lot of information about people who have taken the CLEP test and you know what kind of curriculums they had used and tips they had. Um, so if you have taken the natural science CLEP test, we would just absolutely love to hear from you. Please comment down below. Let us know, you know what the curriculum you did to prepare yourself, um, what your experience is taking the test was. If you've got any tips or advice, uh, we would love to hear from you and be able to help others and even our future kids, our kids as they come down the line and start taking these more tests too. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.